Hi everyone, Joseph from islandrecordingstudios.com here. Today I have some quick hidden features and handy shortcuts to share with you for the stock Pro Tools plugin EQ3. So let's get straight into it. Alright, the first cool little feature I've got to show you is inverting the gain of a band. First of all, open up an instance of EQ3. Now say for example you're looking to find a boxy area in the track, like in this tom roll. A common way of doing this is boosting a band and then sweeping the frequencies. So I'm going to grab the lower mid band and then boost and sweep while listening. Once I've found the area that I don't like, which sounds like it's somewhere around the 450Hz mark for this tom roll, I can simply hold shift and click on the band's little dot. This will automatically invert the gain and remove the problem frequency. So once again, that's just holding shift, clicking on the dot. Now the second cool little hidden feature I have for you is soloing a band. This can be an even handier way of finding a problem frequency, as you're not distracted by all of the other frequencies. So again, open up an instance of EQ3. Now all you need to do is hold Ctrl and Shift and you can sweep the frequencies to solo the band. So I'll do this once again with the tom roll. So as you can see, that's a very quick and easy way of finding a problem frequency by soloing the band. Now if you think you'd like to hear a tighter cue while doing this, instead of going down to the virtual knob here to adjust the cue setting, an even quicker way is just to click on this little dot and hold control, and then you can simply move the mouse left and right, up and down to control this. So that's a really quick way of doing it. So you might want a tight cue, and then once again you can sweep the frequencies with the solo function. That'll help you really hone in on the frequency that you're trying to find. Then you can just simply drag and remove that. Now the final shortcut I have for you isn't actually an EQ3 specific shortcut but rather a shortcut that can work for any plugin within Pro Tools. And it's just a quick way to enable a parameter for automation. Now all you need to do is hover over any parameter, hold down Control, Option, Command, click on the parameter, a little pop-up box comes up, just click Enable Automation. Now this just saves a lot of time going into the automation menu every time and scrolling through to find the parameter that you're looking for. Well that's it for today, I hope you found that really helpful. If you did, please feel free to like the video and subscribe for all future videos. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or fill out the contact form at islandrecordingstudios.com. Until next time, happy mixing. Tuck me in and kiss me on my